Sorry, but it's big thumbs down from me. It's hideous. Don't like it at all. Definitely not. I think Rachel likes it, though, John. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Grimm. It's time for our daily dose of internet cringe and just secondhand embarrassment overall as we're going to be watching this show that is about a home makeover. You know, we've all seen shows like this. There is literally millions of them. And I've always thought, you know, what happens if they design the house and the clients absolutely hated it? Well, we are in luck because we are about to see that exact thing happen. Make sure you watch until the very end as this is incredibly awkward. Like literally the guy whose house it is is about to throw down and have a fight with this host. I swear. So without further ado, let's just roll the clip and react together. Welcome back to your home. You How are you feeling? Much. Nervous. Nick's living room first, I think. Well, dude, you should be nervous because whoever you allowed to come into your house and redesign it with your own money, you know, the shows aren't doing this usually. It's still the people's money, but they're just filming the process. Yeah, this guy pretty much got finessed because whoever was in charge of this should have their license taken away if that's even a thing for interior decorating. It's that bad. It's totally different. It is. And this is really, really nice. Really? really nice. Yes, I really do like it. So, I mean, their reaction to this first room is not that bad, surprisingly. It doesn't look absolutely terrible. You're probably thinking that I'm just way overreacting. I personally think those orange pillows on the bright blue chairs is a horrendous touch and doesn't really go with any of the other vibe in the room. They kind of made it a little bit dark too, which in my opinion makes it look pretty small, but also these people could just have a tiny flat. It is the next room that is absolutely horrendous and makes the homeowner absolutely irate when he sees it totally changed. It's absolutely superb. Enough colour for you, Rachel? It is a hair. I wouldn't have chose this colour, but it looks, looks really nice. So the host is just asking Rachel if it's enough color because apparently that was one of the notes she has and uh, when you're about to see this room, she's going to wish she never told the designer that she enjoyed color because the designer took that idea and that concept and was like, all right, she likes colors, so I'm going to use literally all of them and the brightest versions of those colors as well for their bedroom, which is just not something you want. She's really going to regret that statement. Considering you only like light colors, let's hope that you like the next room as much. Miracles do happen. <laughs> so we only need to see the first frame of this guy's eyes opening and that face he's making is pretty much the perfect representation of his emotions. He's about to be absolutely dissatisfied with this room and with good reason. Like I said, the wife said she enjoyed colors and the designer is definitely not lacking in color. Uh, I mean, look at this horrendous wallpaper of these flowers. I'm just going to zoom in here, but this is not what you want to see when you wake up. I'm sure some people might see this and be like, oh my gosh, this is so quirky and whimsical and fun but in my opinion that's just too much but it's not even about the room itself it's this awkward exchange coming up with the host i don't know why they left this in maybe you know shows over there in the uk just love to have this cringe humor i don't know what it is but it is terrible to sit through you've got your color mm -hmm. yeah i do i like the wardrobes and no it's too much for me it's too busy and already the wife's trying to, you know, at least be positive. She's on TV. She's not going to be trashing it. But the guy is like, dude, no, this is this is too much color. What do you, what do you, you guys are crazy if you think this looks good, which I agree with him, dude. This is not a good room. But I applaud the wife for trying to be kind. And that's kind of what bites her in the butt as well, because then the host starts to use that as ammunition against the husband. Like, why don't you listen to what your wife says? She likes it. Why don't you like it? You're just a hater, bro. I wouldn't have done anything like it. And I don't like it. Supposed to be able to go to sleep in a bedroom and it's like a kids play area. It really does look like a freaking children's room. Like I would not walk into there and think, all right, this is where a probably 40 something year old couple lives and sleeps. This is definitely a children's room, if anything. I mean, you have this terrible wardrobe set, which is like yellow and blue. And then you got the pink pillows on the bed. It is just entirely too much. The host is of course just taking it, but she's about to get salty with this input because I don't think she was expecting this response, even though you take one look at the room and I could tell you the people would not like it. Hey, super Super quick, a large chunk of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed, so if you're enjoying this video and you want to support me, make sure you hit that subscribe button and drop a like real quick. It really does mean the world to me. Anyways, back into the video. So Sorry, but it's big thumbs down from me. It's hideous. I think it's even too much for Rachel if she was to tell the truth. 
<laughs> I will say the guy seems to be, you know, going on and on about it. Maybe they are leaving out little pieces of the conversation just to get a supercut going to make it look like he was doing nothing but complaining. But literally for the past minute, no one else has said something. The wife's just kind of standing here dying of awkwardness and thinking, oh, how much money I've wasted. This was such a fail. Why did they do this to our room? I have to undo all of this now and pay someone else to come in here to take this all down and replace it. And the guy's just blabbering on for like hours, just going, oh, I hate this. This is, yeah, this is just not good. I, I personally would have not done any of this stuff. And yeah, this is horrendous. I despise whoever designed this room. So overall, you quite like mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Drunk. I like the lights. Don't like it at all. Definitely not. <laughs> They're going two entirely different avenues here. The guy is being straight up, possibly because it's his money he forked up, you know, for this renovation. I don't know their living situation, but that could explain why he's taking it a little bit more, you know, seriously. And the wife is going the other way, just trying to appease this host while they're filming so that they at least don't get this horrendous clip, which of course went viral. And now she's forever going to have this memory embedded on the internet. That's tough. I know oh. you're telling her she doesn't, but I think no, she I'll, does. I'll, I'll leave it to her. Rachel's but you're like, answering for her. Yeah, I mean, but... I haven't heard much out of Rachel's mouth, actually. Come on, Rachel. Well, I... <laughs> the host, like I said, is just egging both of them on, trying to get a further reaction. Like, clearly, you can tell Rachel is just trying to be nice to you right now. Don't put her in the crosshairs. I mean, you're throwing her under the bus here, and now she's sitting here looking like she's about to cry. Side note, I really don't think she likes it, because if we rewind back to when they opened their eyes, it looks like she was on the verge of tears there as well and really trying to hide it. Like, oh, it's a lot to deal with in Instantly and you have this camera on you, that must be a very stressful situation for this woman. I feel incredibly bad for her. I do like the bed and the wardrobes. I did ask for colour. If Rachel likes it, yeah, so be it. And so if Rachel likes it, can you keep it the same? Not for long. So. <laughs> And that's the other point that makes me feel terrible for this woman is she now feels that it was her responsibility to get this room designed. And when she gave the input to the designer of I want color, it's now her fault that this room turned out this way and is this horrendous. But trust me, it's not your fault, lady. Like it's whoever this show hired to do this designing's fault. That's who really should be held responsible here. Why don't they have the designer? I know this lady's just the host, but she doesn't seem to understand how ugly this place is either. So what you're actually saying now is it isn't fine. Drunk. Horrible. I think she's got to be heard. <sighs> nah, sorry. And you know, maybe I have this whole situation wrong and maybe this woman really does like it and she is just, you know, nervous to say something and speak up against her husband, which if that's the case, that's incredibly sad. But I really don't think she enjoys this either. I don't know many people that would. I know some people who maybe watch only Wes Anderson movies and think that they're living in a poem might want to live in this place, but it would just give me a freaking headache if I had to wake up and see this horrendous bedroom layout every time I woke up. It's the first thing I see, I'm instantly in a bad mood, bro. It's not for me. So what message would you have for the designer? Don't touch the other room. Right. <laughs> that is the most savage possible answer, but at least, again, he is keeping with this straight up approach. He really just wants to send that message to whoever designed this house, dude. You just robbed me of my money and I am not happy with your work. You did a terrible job. I mean, I at least gave a pass to the living room. I guess you can say that was, you know, kind of a highbrow design with all the different colors and everything. Maybe they were going for that approach, but I don't think it looks good. And then moving on to this bedroom, like I said, it is just the worst thing I have seen in a long time. It really looks like something your grandmother would have in her house back when they really didn't understand how to build good looking houses. Actually, that's a lie. Most old houses look cooler than the ones now, but you, you get what I mean. Basically, it looked tacky and terrible. I hope it's not entirely too expensive for this guy to redo because it's looking like it's about to be. He looks incredibly stressed out throughout this whole filming session, but I want to know your guys' input. Would you actually enjoy that bedroom or not? I would want my money back and I would maybe try to press charges against the show or something, <laughs> but that about does it for today's video. I'm gonna try to get some more daily videos up for you guys. I know I've been lacking, but if you've been watching until the very end, I appreciate you watching this far in. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace out.